Welcome everyone to an arena video. This is Andrea Mengucci. This video is sponsored to you by ChannelFarball.com and Ultimate Guard. Yeah, no 40 gems. No, I mean, this premier draft are like, you lose so much money with this premier draft. No, sorry. With the non-premier draft, you can never go up. It's just impossible. Like, if you if you win seven, you, you go up in 200 gems. It's just impossible to go up. All right. Use this pick ever. Yeah, illusionist or clickbait over here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you fell into the clickbait trap. Grim Merchant isn't that good. Maybe Dreadful Apathy is better, but I do believe that the bots need to just learn that you won't pass them a single black card in order to pass you more black cards later. Bots did learn that lesson pretty well. And here, Aliras is obviously better than, than Underwear Charger, but. My draft strategy, I mean, it's pretty clear at this point what my strategy, what my draft strategy is. And it is to just slam all the black cards because the bots will see, will see black in both lines. It's not, they don't just see black in one, on one side. They see black on both sides. I, I'm not sure if you understand what I'm meaning here. And if you aren't, that's fine too. Just the lesson is only take black cards, all right? Just end pack one with literally 14 black cards. I mean, Nadir Kraken is a good card, but uh, I don't care. I think I'm passing the Hierophant here. I think I take Acolyte of Affliction. Blue is just, yeah, blue-black is just not a winning combination. Alright, I don't think Aspect of the Lamp for is, uh, is playable. Especially in a deck that looks pretty strong like this. This is also not great, but it could make the cut. Alright, I love Rage Scare Berserker. Alright, so this is the Cursed card. So I'm not taking it. I'm sorry, chat. If you love some, if you love some casting Nash of Wonder, you won't be mango because this card is cursed. We let we let the bots take in cursed cards. All right. Now we've like, yeah. Just gonna get a great third pack now. You like the wonder? Oh, I do like it on power level. Unfortunately, it's cursed. If you draw it, you're bound to flood forever, until the rest of the eternity. It's it's just you know that that's that's what it is. If you put it in your deck and you draw it, it's, it's game over. I thought I mean, but first bench brawler is an amazing card. But I already have three bright black cat to bleep. I can't really play three six drop. No, Roy, we finished to 12th in uh, one of them. So we're doing it again today, but it's not looking great. I I, I, I went just 4 3 in my first draft. 20 gems. I don't play Agonize Your Remorse. Agonize Your Remorse is not great. 20 gems, I think, are, are needed. Oh, we're losing carrot. I was looking for this. All right, usually a black green medium, but this is not black green medium. This is black green good. Twenty gems. No, sorry, uncommon for the vault. Uncommon for the vault. All right, so usually Venomous Aerophant is like way above. Relentless Pursuit, way above it. Although, no, I'll do cats. Yeah, BG Good is usually 
Um, I'm so upset that I didn't get any Relentless Pursuit or... Uh... Why do you not open the vault? Because I don't need it. I have a wild cards already. Although I am very greedy, so I like to uh, pile up on things. That's kind of how I live my life. Just piling up things. Allora, um... Hmm. We need to cut probably one Mogus' favor. I think two Mogus' favor is too many. Okay. The mana base will be 9-7, I think. I wish I got one Traveler's Amulet. No, it's never worth to play more cards. Whoever tells you so, they just uh, are clickbaiter. This is the first black green good deck that we have, I think. Yeah, this deck is, is very good. I'm just upset at F for Ika's Libation, which is a card that I always tend not to play, but. Um, unfortunately, it had to happen. Yeah. Trust no one, exactly. Lordly Planet. Lonely Planet, you go paired against Mangus Black Green Good. I'm playing a Swamp here, despite I don't have the auto tapper going because they have to like click pass. I had Tima right in my deck. <laughs> OG Karn. Yeah, it was good. Back in the days, back in the days, I loved, I loved uh, the PT. So many people were playing very bad decks. Now with Arena, it's just, just impossible. Now, now with Arena, it's just totally impossible to play a bad deck out of PT. It's just si simply impossible. Because you just play so many games. Whereas before, the PT was just all theoretical. Like, no one was playing enough. People were just brainstorming all the time. And, that was, and they were calling it PT preparation. Whereas, whereas now, everybody just plays Infinite. And they just can't play bad decks. Whereas I always play like the super safe deck. I never. Oh wow, they just cast like this. That's weird. Exalt to two target card. Do I want to get back Soul River of Bogus with Omen of the Dead? When I put him build the Chimera, that's so lucky. I bet. Um, yeah, I think I'll do that, sure. Yeah, rip final death. Rip final death indeed. Oh, food right on time, carried it. Let's play Nyx Herald and say go. This is a 3-4 next turn. Yeah, they exam my two cards. They don't gain any life. I need to draw lands, I only play 16. Because I kinda count like carriages as a land or like. You should play 17 in this deck. Yeah, you know why I play 17 lands in this deck. I don't even have any of the three three mana card draw spell. Why don't I go with the Chimera first? The Chimera gets blocked very easily, right? Whereas the Herald is uh, a 3 4 Trample. 3 4 Trample is not really. Not really beatable on turn three. Good morning, Jerry. Oh, no. George. George. Die, opponent. Mm, Mr. Merda, va bene. See, if I play Chimera, I mean, I guess I had uh, Mogus's favor. Third chapter, return target creature or land from your graveyard. I think I'm still killing that thing, though. Like, whenever you get the option to just... Mogus's favorite kill something, it's always nice. And then what do I do? They can just get back those and replay it. I might just play here at it here.
What is your goal now that you've conquered both limited and constructed? I still haven't. I'm 34th. I have to... I have to win many more matches. Many more matches I have to win in order to conquer both constructed and limited. That's a very good card. I'm so jealous of my opponent. Right, so they mill two cards, but they got back Nylea's uh, Stokazzo. Alright, so I play Lotus on Chimera, and then I play... I was going to play Soul Reaper of Mogus, but I'd rather play Underworld Charger here. Because that one can attack through uh, both of these threats very easily. And next time I can even go Berserker on the Chimera. It's one of my favorite play, Chimera into Berserker. Timurit is very good. Very, very good. Actually... Actually, I think I'm going to pump the... Charger. And attack with both. I just trade here. Yeah, I think it's better. They will exile my Chimera, and that will be that will be sad. But I don't mind killing creatures. Now that they have Soul Reaper and Mogus, every creatures they have matters. We have three Blood Breath Catablipas. Those draw would be just insanely good now. We have three Catablipas. And the Catablipas just works wonders with Merchant as well. Because it's two more damage. So I have two cards in my graveyard, opponent can exile with Timoret. They have an Elias on Master. Elias on Master is also a nice card. Yeah, I mean, every green black deck is good because you have like only good cards. All right, that's a very good draw. Definitely firing it off. Uh, where though? So if I go Word Brass Blessing on the Charger, fight on the Arm Master, this is a 3-5 with 4 damage on it, and can trade with the Piper. It's not great to trade with the Piper. But I think it's better than nothing. I could have also killed the Timoret fighting with the Berserker, but this way the Berserker can get through pretty, pretty, pretty safely. Like what do they do? They double block? They can't double block. So I'll be trading here. All right, this play is not very good. Because the, the Timoret dies here. But as I say often on my stream, we don't judge our opponent plays. We only care about the perfect lines every turn. And that's it. That's what we do. Danger room. Sea trouble. Thank you very much for the first month with me. Hope's first of the many. Hope you can enjoy some lasagna emoji and some other amazing emoji that I designed myself. Often people ask me, Oh, I don't know how to make emoji. I have to call someone that makes emoji. Nah. Just... I learned how to do emoji. And it's great. Just, just great. I take selfie. Like like the the, 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 the boar hat emoji is just a selfie that I did. And then I remove the borders and then boom, it's an emoji now. Eccoli. Eccoli. What an amazing back-to-back -back draw we had in this game. I drew Word Brass Blessing into Catoblipas, exactly the card I needed. I said Bora, Bora Hot Emoji, yeah. I have that. Alright, this game's over. It was, it was already over last turn, when my opponent chomped with Timoret. I mean, among all the cards you can chomp with, Timoret is really, it's really low. It's really low on the on the chunk tier.
Allora, so if I go... No, I don't want to go Gar Merchant. But I also don't want to trade. <laughs> if I trade, there's less card in the graveyard for, for Asphodel. So right now I have 7 lands. So I can not double spell. I can go Mogus' Fever and this Goat. Yeah, I think it's good. No, nah, Cats is good. Let's just play this. You go to two, and then Barra's Barra. So if I take it here, I did block it. They block it. They block that and they die, so they, they have to let the character through. Danger mixed trouble. Thanks for great content. Nice. I qualify for the Mythic Invitational. Ooh, it will be my first ever pro event. All right, what advice do you get? Um, the advice that I give you is to. All right, so remember first thing first that uh, there's going to be a historic. Um, no, let me see. Wow, I didn't get anything like three ranks. There's going to be Amoket Remastered coming. Amoket Remastered is a very important set. All right, Oza Getter. Okay, well, thirty one didn't rank up much i was supposed to uh, to add a land but i guess i drew four lands so that was that was a well played by mango they have one drop mabala moss viper raid we got a raid all right i'm ready i'm ready to welcome the raiders You didn't know it was a set? <laughs> that, that's why they moved the the, the, the the line. What's my next emoji? That's a raid! Hello, hello everyone from That's a Stream. Yo yo yo. Yo yo yo, we're trying to we're trying to get to ten to top ten today. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Yesterday was very close we were very close, but fall down a little bit. But now we forced our way to the Grim Black once again after passing Nadir Crack and Uros and those sort of stuff. Because Grim Black's best. If you don't know Datsy, he's a, a limited mainly streamer, which I believe now lives in uh, Korea, from what I follow on uh, on Twitter, which is very nice. I've never been to Korea, definitely one of the places I would love to go. Alright, I can either drain it for four. And I think it's just I think it's just good, right? Yeah, I'll just drain it for four. So first your time to okay. Do you have like a Korean passport? Or are you staying there for like three months for tourist and then come back? I actually I, I don't know how immigration works. Oh, just here to three months. Okay, sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice though that you decided to do that. Do you think in three months Korea will have open borders for USA? That might not. In in Italy, you can't come from USA. So maybe yeah, other countries as well. All right. Anyway, uh, they just run those press with and break down lands, which you love to see. So now, um, I'm just waiting on this Mogus' Favor and the Moss Viper. So I'm just going to play Venomous Aerophant, fill my graveyard so I can uh, uh, exile the, the, the Viper next turn. Alright, I milled very good cards, so now I can break back with my Omen. Yeah, it's just so much synergy going right now. Remember that this says you control. Oh, they had the RP in end. I actually did not think about this. All right, I mean, yeah. And just to get out of the US, nice. <laughs> All right, so I'll play Omen of the Dead, bring back my Kato B. Then I'll play it on the Moss Viper, and then I Sbarra, 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 Sbarra. They take a million damage, land go, my hand stacked. Nyx Herald can pump the Nyx Bomber Otter, making it 5 pound with Trample. 
Hello, stinky dude. But again, thank you again, Vetsy, for this for the raid. How how are you doing? What format are you drafting? M twenty one or uh, you also enjoy Theros? All right, I played what vicious typhoon. Oh, that was a very timely top deck. Okay, cool. Well, really, it was a timely top deck. He was a lucky top deck, I'd say. Yeah, says Barra. You played Drain and Theros. Yeah, I also lost a lot in the Drain. I also lost a lot in the Drain. Theros, everyone is a trawler? Really? I guess I got lucky in there. I only played once against it. I often play against uh, White Durling decks. No point gets Moss Viper again for the thousandth time. All right, hey, I'm going to Nix Arrow to pump the mo the Marauder. This Nix Arrow is so powerful. This card. I picked this over Faraz Ben Brawler, which could have been a mistake, but I'm not sure. I mean, now, I mean, both cards would have won. I mean, this game I was just just a beating, but you know. Twelve Trawlers, Mavala. Twelve. Okay, we, we ranked up this time. So from 31 to 18. Okay, we're still missing 8 ranks to make the top 20, not the top 10. Alright. To mulligan this. Forcing in paper draft is weird though. In bot you can force every time the same archetype because bots open the, the, the archetype for you. But on paper is... Uh, uh, sorry, no. To return a card... I think it'll be Amogus's favor. Might be a risky, but... Nah. Hello, Matt. No, not yet. We lost. We're now in 18th. That's a good draw. Yeah, we have to win out. I mean, not, uh, we lost because we didn't draft green-black. I drafted red-black. What was I thinking? Constructed rank? 10th. Yeah, I drafted red black earlier and uh, I went 4 3. What's the number between mythic number and mythic percentage? Uh, it's like if you fall off the top. Oh no, can I get back my Mogus' favor? Come on, what's up with people playing X1s? It's forbidden. And as I say that, I play a, I play a 2 1. I mean, I haven't played Construct in a while. Uh, last time, yes, Team Wreck. Bent Ramp in Standard and Team Wreck in Constructed. Treno the Singer, ooh. I love Treno the Singer in Cube, in Arena Cube. I can't wait for the Arena Cube to come back. Yeah, but it was bound to happen, a lie. I mean, we won, some, we won four matches. It's, I think it's a, above average. Yeah, I think our hand is, is shipping up very well here. So what happens with the percentage is that if you fall off to top 1500, you become a percentage, and then you go behind from 99 and then uh, until like zero or something. And the goal... Uh, and the goal of mm, players in Magic is to make... What, did he attack the Lionfish? That's weird. Elisir Joel, thank you for subscribing with Twitch Prime. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Mango Stream. Where we play The Gathering of Magic. It's not, it's not a real gathering because it's online, but we'll gather together, me and the chat. I have seen uh, once 48%. My opponent was once 48%. I will not play any online today, this weekend, sorry, y'all. Today, chat, is my seventh anniversary with my girlfriend. So I'll, uh, we'll be going to a concert. And then tomorrow, I'll be going to a friend, uh, we're going to visit a friend. So yeah, not much, not much magic this weekend. Oh look, this one can't return a permanent. I'm thinking about my plays here because I have, I have some lines. 
at my disposal. I can go Nix Arrow, I'll make this a 3 4. Watch out. Watch out, Mango09 outplays opponent. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready to watch Mango09 outplays opponent? Oh, they didn't double block. That's such a shame. Actually, it wasn't even an outplay because this was a 3 5, so I would have traded. Anyway. Yeah, Matt, but maybe 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 my family doesn't want you though. I would want you, but maybe my family doesn't want you. These days. Maybe like in I don't know. Another time. If I was living alone I wouldn't have any problem, but I just don't feel like you know asking that. All right, now I'm uh, now now I'm outplaying my opponent. All right, now it's happening. It's just uh, it's happening hundred percent, chat. It's happening hundred percent. Are you ready for the outplay? Oh, it's it's not an outplay. What am I talking about? Why do I play bed? Sorry, for some reason I thought it would just die. That their thing would just die, but it it doesn't die. All right, never mind. Yeah, all right. Now it's just a question. Do I want to be greedy and just get back a spell or do I want to just get back a land? Ah, whatever. I'll be drawing a land. It's fine. You were ready. Yeah, you were, right? You were ready. Yeah, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that, that, that you thought I would outplay my opponent, but both of the times that I said it, I couldn't really outplay them. Like earlier they could have double blocked this and this would have still died with the omen. And now they they had the block here. For some reason I thought that Themaret was like pumping in, in power and toughness. I don't know, whatever I thought. I mean my my hand is stocked. And they're playing blue red. So I think we'll be okay. Although this one says whenever two or more creatures attack yeah, yeah, this is classic situations where couldn't couldn't really block. Although if they attack, I think I'm I'm forced to block with the Hierophant. I mean, my attack was like the, one of the worst attack ever, honestly. Although it did tell my opponent that I don't have Morgus's favor, and then if I draw it, it's, it's going to be great. All right. So here I could double block this Arena Trickster, and uh, the problem is that then if I draw land, I can't kill the Cyclops. But I can just play this, right? Yeah, this attack seems seems good. Hello, the blue guy. Oh wow, they killed the Enix Herald instead. Okay, perfect. Now if I draw land, I'm able to do that. Wait, I would have I would have been able to do that regardless. What am I what am I doing today, chat? I just can't count. Alright, time to focus. Alright, stop. Stop Mango. Stop Mango. It's time to focus. Basta. Basta. Time to focus. Alright. I don't think I made any like suboptimal plays, but my thoughts were just all over the places. It's now time to sharpen up. Mm, allora, I could attack with both. If they kill this, they get in for a lot of damage, but I'm not really planning on chump blocking this regardless. So I'm virtually trading 2 damage for 2 damage. And I do not think it's worth it in the state of the game. Uh, wow, they discarded Phoenix of Yash. Wow, that's such a good combo. Ma guardate. I need to draw land here. If I don't draw land, uh, yeah, that was stupid. That was a classic super greedy play to just not get back the land and then die with 2-6 drop in end. Porca boy, I'm just going to die to, with 2-6 drop in end. I just, I just knew, I just know it. I think I have to chump, right? So if I do not chump, 
If I do not jump... This one pumps for three, Ray. Yeah. This one can give me some life. Terra. Okay. And you guys your first spell during each opponent's turn deals one damage, you scry one. Killing the Phoenix of the Ash. Then I'm attacking with definitely not this. Opponent has a. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, the team right now can block the Cyclops. So, once again, this could be a very greedy attack. Alright, just taking it like this. We need to keep up pressure, though. What's happening with those quotes, Chow? What do you want to know? I'm I'm not I'm not one of those like streamers that have all the quotes, I'm sorry. I just play magic and talk about whatever you want to talk about. That's it. Alright. If I kill this lionfish with the cat of Lipa and attack with all, they don't die unfortunately. Let's just go to combat. Let's see if they have a spell to top my creatures. I'm losing to blue red. Oh, that sucks so much. That sucks so much. Katsu! All right, I will pass the turn. Are they attacking me? I want to see how do they attack here. All right, if they just attack like this, I can't survive. If they attack at all. I, I can't survive. So I go to 5 here. And then I go to 7. If I had one more swamp, I could have gained one more life. But... Alright, go to 2. If they have 2 lands in end. No, there's not a land. So if I go libation on the Cyclops. No, no, Chmanko by Katsu. What does Katsu mean? It's just a swear. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, defeat to blue red. Ah, it hurts! Defeat. No, 35. That's so little. Burrata. It's very, very possible that Burrata is like. Yeah, yeah, it's like one of those like super soft cheese, yeah. Either death or yeah, those those, those things like that. Okay, we're back. Number thirty three against number ninety six percent. We will be casting a it depends, it depends. I think being on the play, I think I want to cast Timaret. We 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 will see. We will see. We don't have to like necessarily decide now. And now they put the most viper on playing carroted. Oh, now for sure. <laughs> kind of lonely. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Turn three on the play. Nix bomb marauder is a good curve. As if they have a creature here. If they don't, I might just for extra libation uh, uh, kill the most viper at Cast Timoret. They played that instead. I think I'll still stick by that play though. Oh, 
Oh, let's sacrifice whatever. Next is Warden. Then I'll attack. Then I'll play Timaret. Then I'll attack Trade and get back the Nyx Bomb Marauder. That's my turn. It's not pretty, but. It will be my turn. I think I I think I'll I'll use the Omen of the Death like this now. Nine rares and mythics. Is that a preliminary? Yeah. I believe that since quarantine ended, I have never played another magical line event. Like, wow, this is this is such a good draw. Race Car Berserker is just so good. I've never heard that, Vera, sorry. You probably Google whatever you need. Whatever you need will be answered by the one and only Google. Like this weekend, there's the Gen Con. I would have loved to compete in that. But I just have like, yeah. All my interests to play Magic Online are just gone. <laughs> and oh yeah, I'm just, I'm just so happy that Almost back to normal life. The, 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 I mean, except for just like GPs and traveling, that's definitely one of the one of the best part of my life. That's still not back to normal, but the other things are, and that's that's great. All the formats are bad. You think the blue guy? I'm sorry that you think so. I don't really have an answer to that, Robbie, but the, the, I really like the Master set, like Ultimate Masters, Master 25. Uh, this format don't, don't die, like yesterday after yesterday night, we went for pizza and play Magic, and we were like 10 people, and we played like Modern and Legacy, because the community are very old, and the Magic players play those. But Pioneer is a new format, so there's no Pioneer communities, and uh, the only place you can play this, like, if there was like GP's Pioneer, format would have been amazing. If there was a PT on Pine, Pioneer was an arena, format would have been amazing. It's just that that's not the case, so nobody plays it and everybody just... Also, like, there's like the general talk that Magic, everybody complains about everything, so... That's like even more so in, in, in the Pioneer case. It was a Pioneer PT, yeah, sure. The thing is that they can't play PT on Magic Arena online, come on, that would be... That would be not good. Pioneer, yeah, I slowly brought to over Arena, sure, yeah, yeah, definitely. By the end of the year? No way. By the end of the year, they will have barely Amokhet remastered. Amokhet is like 2016, it's still missing like four years of sets. Magic Arena is affordable. Like, if you draft, uh, Magic Arena is very affordable. It's just that lots of people don't draft, and... And yeah, I mean... If you don't have time, it's reasonable not to draft. I'm not saying that you should. All right, Rakdos. Love to play against Rakdos. Uh, I think I'll begin with March Raiden. This one can attack through any three drops, so it'll be fine. I think it's not even. I think it's not. I think it's really not the money that you put on the format. I think it's just the the drafts that you do. I have so many friends that I spend zero dollars on arena and have and have the collection. Yeah, you can't sell your cards. It's a game. Like, do you sell your like when you go play soccer? Do you sell what do you sell after having spent ten euro? You know to play. What do you sell? It's a game. Why do you want to sell? All right, we build that. That's a great follow up next turn. I didn't have a five drop, so now I do. All right, our mana screwed. Sorry, this is a, this is a sorry not sorry case. 
All right, remember that this one can get first strike, so it's not attack. How do you get better at drafting? I think listen to like maybe limited resources, a podcast about drafting. Uh, Lords of Limited is a podcast about drafting. I have been drafting for a very long time at this point, and uh, you just uh, yeah, I mean, just informations in general. All right, Underworld Charger will attack your opponent. Can double block and get first strike, but I'm super happy with that trade if it happens. Just draft green black and never draft. Not M twenty one green black is the worst archetype. <laughs> In, in, in Theros, yeah. In Theros, it's just easy. It's actually not easy money because because in this quick draft, you just don't earn anything. Whereas in the Premier draft, you earn a lot if you win. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rare drafting is important. Rare drafting is important. Yeah, totally. I mean, I wouldn't rare draft like a, a bad rare, but I would definitely rare draft like a, a Fable Passage if you're a new player or stuff like that. I think one of the main mistakes that people make in draft is to not play enough uh, um, creatures. That's the first mistake that people made, make. In general, I'm not. I'm not saying like. I'm not saying like small mistake. Sorry, big mistake. I'm, just, I'm saying like a small mistake here. Zbara, zbara, zbara. Second mistake that my opponent is playing, missed land drop. You should you you don't you can't miss land drop chat. No, pack one temple, no, no, pack one temple is too early. No. You can get like later pick temple, but first pick don't take temple. Hello MTG Olic. Yeah, this draft is this deck is gray. This deck is gray. Five damage. Sbarrina, Sbarrina. Ciampini. All right. Put a nose about the merchant. But like, yeah, you're giving wrong value, but there's like so much content that tells you what is good and what is bad. Right? I think at this point, at this point, we all know what's good and bad. Like in constructed, it doesn't matter creatures. Like you, you can't. It doesn't like you don't. Like your deck is like if you got aggressive deck, you need a lot of creatures. But other than that, creature count doesn't matter. Whereas in draft, you have to play. You have to play lots, lots of creatures. Each top creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. So if I kill that, attack with all, all right, sure I win. All right, GG. This game's kind of whatever, because my opponent just got heavily minus screwed, but yeah. All right, let's go. Top 10? No. Combat is the most fun phase. I was thinking about that uh, yesterday. I actually wanted to wanted to tweet about it, but then I feel like I didn't know how to ex exactly express my thoughts. So I felt the following thought. I felt that the ban of Burning Tree of Mystery was very bad because you need aggressive decks to be very good in order to have an healthy format in Constructed. You need aggro to be incredibly powerful in order to have a good format. Because it's always easy to tune your deck against aggro. But if the aggro doesn't exist or it's very bad, then the format becomes a bad format. Because aggro isn't there to punish, so you're just, you're just doing like... Uh, slow things and like it's very easy to find the, the best decks against the other mid range, but it's very difficult to balance 
a best deck against the other mid range while being good against aggro. So I believe that like the ban of smugglers, copter and pioneer, the ban of uh, you know like uh, rampaging ferocity on in standard, the ban of uh, uh, the tutu thing in in historic, I think are are bad because you need aggro to be incredibly powerful. Like, if I was designing magic card, which thankfully I'm not, it's a very difficult job, I would always make sure that that aggro decks are very, very good. You know, because if aggro decks are good, yeah, that's, 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 that's it. Yeah, Thrust was banned in uh, a couple of years back. But I don't know how to express that on a tweet. Plus, I don't really want to get into like these discussions. But people always claim to be like, oh, I know how to design magic cards and wizards should be fired. I always hate them and I wish them the worst. All right, playing against the Boros, Boros cards. I'll love that to happen. I don't, aggro decks never dominate formats, I think. Like when the Red Black Chain Whirler was popular, it, it wasn't really an aggro deck, was it? I think I explained myself, Illusionist, right? Uh, sacrifice and enchantment, thanks. Oh wow, no, ma guarda te, the blowout, the blowout, I forgot about these things happening, these things happen all the time, all the time these things happened, literally all the time, you cast Tharika's Libation and blow you out with an omen. But I really think that you solve standard if you if you just build uh, if you just build like like if aggro decks are good standards are good that, that's that's what I think. Oh yeah, they suck the creature. Oh wait, that is true. Opponent suck the creature. Sorry, I'm just I wasn't really focusing there, but opponent did suck the creature over the enchantment. Wow. <laughs> oh, is that this line? Okay, sure. Oh yeah, it says that Stefano. I am surprised. Yeah, historic master remaster will be here on September. Okay, five mana two four drain three against an aggro deck. It's 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 a good card. Uh, what about us here? Uh, I think I am going for Rich Scar Berserker, and just pump this and attack. One drop of very push right now. That's not true at all. Red doesn't have a single playable one drop, not even one. All the red one drop are just unplayable. Like you play them, but you have no better options. Like we think that Forever Champion is a good magic card. Like if you show Forever Champion to standard players days, years back, they would never consider playing it, I ever. It's a one mana one, it's a, it's a Raging Goblin. Forever Champion is only good if you draw two. It's a raging goblin, like I, I like, like when I, I, don't, I don't know. I shouldn't say that, but all right, whatever. So yeah, like so one drop are definitely not good at all. Like we don't even have like people play Garrison Cat and Hunt that Witness in standard. Like can you believe it? Like like players, players register for players through final. Garrick, um, the the, the, the Garrison Cat and Hunt that Witness. Yeah, so like, yeah, one drop are just awful in the standard format, and then, uh, yeah, it's, I think, uh, 
I think magic would be much better if, if that wasn't the case. But again, I kind of get into this, 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 this discussion, which, you know, maybe I shouldn't have got into, but yeah. Agra is only playable because control decks plays four Dobin's Veto and four Negate and four Dispute main deck. That's that's the only reason why you could play you could play Agra and Agra top eight at the PT. If you had a Gitu Lava Runner, Bulmut Courier. Okay. No, so yeah. Pun is attacking with all, I love it. Do they have a coordinated charge? Phalanx tactics? Okay. So like there is yeah, the, the reason why those decks top eight the is that because the metagame got so much into beating control of each other. Look, Mogus' favor is my draw. Although, I don't think I play Mogus' favor. Actually, I could. I could play Mogus' favor and bring back the Chimera. It's not a bad idea, right? And I think I'm playing around a Portal of Betrayal. Because that deck could that deck could play Portal of Betrayal. Next turn I should be able to win, so let's play around that. Hello, Bearded Mountain. Reprint Goblin Guide in Zendikar. I think they just reprinted it for um, Double Master. So I doubt it. I doubt it will happen. Firebrand was great because Lanowar Elf was in the format. So Lanowar Elf is probably one of the best one drop ever, but it was very well balanced because Chain Wheeler and Fire Flatting Firebrand was in the format. That 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 last thunder was great. Alright, I'm going to the bathroom again, chat. Alright, Gonza. Vamos. I'm on number 14. I think if I win, I can get up to. I can get up to top 10. Good morning, Gira. Gira, I was thinking... What were you thinking, Mango? I was thinking... One second, let me actually think about this first. I was thinking, um, maybe on Saturday morning, since we have nothing to do, I can, we can play the, the Arena Open, the historic best of one event. Because the event. Oh, wow. Because that event. Uh, play while I sleep. Yeah. Exactly. Cat, so if I dispersed, I would have killed this. Die! Is Mono Blue any good in historic? I mean, if nobody plays a uh, Shark Typhoon, sure, right? What are you bringing to the Historic Open? Eh, I think I would play... I think I would play Team of Reclamation. With 4 Magma Quake. I like I like Bant. I think Bant is, is very good for ladder. For ladder purposes, Bant is good. Can I just I think I'm trading with this is fine, right? Trading a Dix Arrow for Hyrax High, Tower Scout. It's not great. Isn't it quite slow to grind? I don't think you have to grind, right? Like you can easily make mythic without grinding. Just 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 play some matches. 
I'm playing 16 lands, which is one less than normal. And this is the first game where I get mana screwed. But I play Carrot, it's kind of a land. Oh, Gira with the Arancino badge. What did I do? Some trainings. Oh, camera like a briscola. All right. It feels very bad to lose to a deck with multiple stats and skirmisher. It feels very, very bad. Ah, but like, what can I do? You ever get recognized in public? We talked about this yesterday, about the being recognized in public. Uh, some, some very, very, it, it, it has happened like once or two eyes only. You were recognized in public once? Nice. All right, that's unfortunate. We are five and two, we'll lose infinity ranks now, probably go to 30 or something. Yeah, 31. Uh, I take so long to rank. We were 14, we were so close. Maybe one more land drop and we would have won this game. Opponent goes first. This hand isn't good, but Oh wow, got a rematch against this guy. All right. My Yusuf's favor is very good against them because they play multiple Satasa and Skirmisher. All right, drew very well this time around. And they didn't get the Satasa and Skirmisher. Hyrax Tower Scout, okay. I think I'm attacking here. I can't really block, so might as well attack. This is a two for one if it happens, but it's okay. They, they, they have like a bunch of uh, auras there. And it's, it was very likely that they wouldn't have blocked. Yeah, I saw that why auras in historic is good. That's cool. All right, I think now it's uh, time for the greedy play. I think I have very little permanents. I have very little non-permanents in my deck. So I will for sure hit something with this Acolyte. For sure. 100%. Hey, what do I get back? I get back Omen of the Dead. I already have a, a very good curve of creatures. And now I'll double block this Hyrax Tower Scout to attack with. They showed me uh, Indomitable Well, uh, the plus zero plus two fight. I think that's about it. All right, CO now. Ooh, this card is nice. They bricked. All right, cool. E poi merdolo. All right. I got a 15 here. Yeah, I wish I got this now because I could have double spelled. But this card is very worthless, so I don't. Re I really don't care about killing it. I think I'm just going for Rage Scar Berserker. Pump the Discordant Piper and attack for three. A lot of legends. Oh, it's this, right? Okay, I played they have three cards left. Our hand is stacked. I really love uh, to get the Omen of the Dead because we have Katoblipa. My favorite magic format is Vintage Cube. That's the format that makes me happy to play every time I play. Sometimes the other formats um, make me tired of it, but... Oh yeah, Renata too, yeah, sure. But I never get tired of Vintage Cube. But the good thing of Magic is that there's so many formats that if you get tired of one, you just play another one. There's really just a million 
a million formats. It's 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 amazing. All right, Gonza, what you gonna do? I lost the worm. Alright, main phase indomitable will, it's a weird one. Oh, I guess they fight. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They made my attack with uh, Discord and Piper pretty bad, because now I can't block, I can't like double block the skirmisher. 2 take 6 here. I desperately needed a land there. Alright, so this is a 4-7. If I play Girl Merchant of Asphodel, I have no blockers for days. Or I can go Mogus' favorite here and play Nyx Herald. It's not a bad play, is it? The attack with a 4 7 just chump with the Piper. And then I play Merchant. You can play, 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 play Cat the Bleep as here. Yeah, I think that's better play. So I'll go Mogus' favorite on the Skirmisher. And I'll play Nyx Herald. And I'll pause the turn. Did someone say Popper? Oh yeah, Ye yesterday, yesterday I played Popper. Yesterday I played Popper uh, with a friend of mine. He was playing Tron. Tron is so good now, it's insane. Like they banned the the expedition map, but they printed Bonder's ornament. Wait, am I dead on board? Like Bonder's ornament is like infinite times better than expedition map. It kind of feels like the ban of expedition map just didn't happen. All right, I need to draw land or I lose the game here. I don't know why they just don't want to ban like Urza's mine. I guess good, but I pop the like, trans being like a tier one forever and yeah. The uh, Bonder's ornament is called. It's a new land. It's a new artifact. All right, uh, I have to decide what to do here. So if I break on, uh... I mean, I still survive with the merchant, I guess. Land. I might try to gains me life. Yeah, I think I'll play my Trident before I play merchant. And if I play merchant to go to six, I think my my Trident blocking the Hyrax Tower Scout is just nice. And I can't even just go with Mogus's favor here. Yeah, no, it's a fun deck. I, I don't think it's not fun. I'm just saying it's unbeatable. I actually unbeatable. I think I've killed this. It's not the best of the plays, but... Elf stomps Tron. Does it? Now they play Suffocating Fumes main deck. Or at least that's what they played against us. We weren't playing elves, we were playing like blue white combo. Was it better to bring back the Piper? Oh, with Omen of the Dead? Sure, maybe. I just wanted to keep the Omen of the Dead for Blood Black Heart of Lipa. Put into a Planeswalker. It's not great news. Hey, right, Jake, if you ask a good question, in draft very often, very often. Alright, good to three here. I still five lands, I need to draw land. Okay, I drew it. Now what do I do? <clears throat> I definitely have to catoblip the, the Pegasus. I could attack with a Trident. I put in blocks with the Siona probably. And I'm okay with that. So I killed the Papegasus. And now I mean I'm I mean I was I was in a good shape, now there's replanes walker, so <laughs> I, I, I guess I guess I'll end up losing 
if this card creates too much advantage. I don't know how much auras there are left in their deck, but I can still do like some Oblivion Rings or stuff. Do I have any removal spell left? Alright, so I have Blightbird Cthulhu in my graveyard with Omen of the Dead's in end. Then I have Final Death, Fairy Salvation, Word Bar's Blessing. You can't play tournaments yet, Lolus? Or do you leave? Alright, I'm killing my Nyx Herald. Sure. Exile Car, Word Bar's Blessing. Okay. Yes, Junkie, that's what I'm doing. Uh, only forcing Black Green. Yeah, this is a 4 7, so I'll chump it up. So, right now, I only have 5 loyalty. I can go up to 6 here with this Omen of the Dead. So, I'll go Omen of the Dead, bring back Katublipa. Play land, play Katublipa. Uh, kill the Nalia's Hunt Master. Then I kill Kalix. Maybe I should kill Kalix like this. And Kalix does nothing, right? Yeah, because if I attack with both, I die to a removal spell. I don't want to die to a removal spell. So yeah, kill Kalix like this. Unless they want to chomp, but I doubt that they want to protect this planeswalker. This just this doesn't do anything. Oh wow, they protect their planeswalker, sure. Now they can pick up an enchantment in the top four cards. They break it earlier, they break with Siona. I just doubt they have so many enchantments in their deck. I mean even if they hit, sure. I mean the planeswalker drew them a card. Glory bearers, okay. Thing is that if I attack with both, I just lose to a removal spell. I think I'm a good spot. I don't want to lose to a removal spell here. They don't. They don't know that they have another Omen of the Dead. If they attack, they might. I might chump. No. No, I won't chump. All right. I drew my third Blight Bread Cat to Bleepa. so I'm casting it. Kill the Higher Tire Scout. Get back the. Get back the Nyx Herald. Go to combat, and then I will be killing the Calyx here, like this, yeah. It's funny, because now they block the Catoblipa, because it's a free, and then I just get it back with the Omen of the Death. So I'm casting Catoblipa for the fifth time. Next turn, and then I'll play Asphodel. Mirror Shield, yeah, I'm so glad I drew this card now. I, have, I believe I have zero. I have two Venomous Aerophant, yeah, yesterday. Yesterday I lost to this card. I was so sad because I was on my 22-0 streak and then my deck is like only Death Thatcher and I, and I died to this card. All right, so that thing has a uh, X proof now. And they're in 23. I don't think I want to reanimate anything from, from this board state. Right? Maybe I should do. Do I have a Lampiad? I don't have Lampiad. So it's just impossible for me to, yeah. Alright, so what should we do here? This is a 6 power. So I can't play Mogus's Favor on the Acolyte. Play Grey Merchant. Drain them for 9. Attack with all. I think it's a good play, yeah. So I'll go Morgis's favor on the Acolyte of Affliction. Oh, maybe maybe here? Actually here is fine, right? Here here is good. The Wentum Cinque Uno un sei due. Alright, perfect. Yeah, I'll go here. I'll go here on the Catoblipa. Because I can go Grey Merchant, Drain for 9, and then Combat, Nyx Arrow pumps this, and now I threaten the trade. The next turn will be lethal. 
Bella Merda. Horrors are so bad in magic, it's crazy. Alright, they dead on board. Uh, I hope so. So, uh, let's say they block the largest, they take a lot. This doesn't have lifelink. Still play, making this play, because whatever. Alright, good game. Got a revenge against the uh, green white this time. Okay, okay, this is a very good end. It 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 is full of bad cards because these three cards are like last picks. Like I wouldn't mind any of these three cards can easily arrive last pick. But every time you have two swamps, two forests, you just have to be grateful. But now no more lands, so I don't, I don't have to be grateful anymore now. What problems do I have with a drain? I believe it's uh, not fun at all. Control decks are pretty good and boring. That's not make sacrifice an enchantment. Okay, um, I think I'll play this first because if I mill Underworld Charger, I like that better as a five play, as a five mana play. And plus, I have two Iron two Woman of the Death, and three Cut of Leaping in my deck, so milling is very good for my deck. Merda, BC, BC call. That's just so many matches. That's so many matches. And also so many matches of best of one. Madonna mia, you must love Magic the Gathering so much. No, ma come la pesco? I need to mill this, not to draw this. <laughs> yeah, I only I only played against I only played against Oko in a drain draft. I never had Oko. Mono green, yeah. And MTGO is good because you can play old uh, elder format on uh, on on internet. Otherwise, you couldn't. So while Magic Online is not good, not very good program, it's still like serviceable. You know, it's like when you're very hungry and uh, almost all the restaurants are closed, and you have to eat like. Some tier two, tier three food, you'll be like. I mean, I wish I didn't have to, but you know, if I really, if I if I really had to, my opponent maybe didn't know that I could sacrifice the Omen of the Sea. You just won the Spider Rasta for an event. Oh, cool. Arasta, Arasta no mi basta. All right. I think I'm trading damage here. Move towards MTGO paper, what does that mean? Yeah, exactly, BC Cole. That's one of the problem with best of three. Can you price Spice Boy for the fifth month? Gente di Mare? Is that a Fabri Fiber album? Uh, there was a Uomini di Mare. Fabri Fiber. You know guys that I'm from the town of a very popular rap singer. One of the best. One of the best. One of the best rap singer of Italy. Are you attacking opponent? Oh, you're not attacking. Ci stiamo cacando sotto opponent. Eh? Why did you never evolved? It did evolve. It did evolve. One of the best indeed. Definitely one of the best. Alright, I'm trading here if you want to opponent. 
Sorry, Proto Spice Boy. I'm not going to sing a song that I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I can sing plenty of song though. If uh, I can sing the Turu Turu song, I can sing, uh, I don't know, whatever comes up in my mind. I'll sing them. And I'll, next time I sing a song, you'll be the person I'll. Uh, how do you say? I'll go uh, dedicare. Each rapper. Fabri Fibra. Mango's from LA, exactly. That's where I'm from. I'm exactly from LA. LA as in uh, uh, La Spezia, no, I don't know. Is there a city called LA in Italy? I don't think so. No, that's not true. I'm teaching evolved. It was like green. It added like a green background before. L'Aquila. That's great. Yeah, exactly. That was, that was very easy. That was very easy. <laughs> yeah, from actually not that far from there either. Not that far from there either. Rap God. Yeah, we were, we were children. We we're always singing rap songs. The first ever song of Fabri Fibra, first sentence of that song begins with I was eating lizards, open lizards. That's that's the first sentence of the first song he made that made him popular. I was eating open lizards. That's it. That's 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 a part of the song. All right, I'm, I'm slow rolling this catoblepa. Whenever you cast it, you was upset about it. Da ragazzino. Exactly. Tova, Tova, Nix Bomb Marauder, take that, get eaten by my Katoblipa, Katoblipa, it's just a strong card, it's just a strong card, Katoblipa, and Omen of, the, Omen of the Dead is amazing in this deck, because we have three Katoblipas, this deck is so good, I'm pretty upset I lost two matches, but it's okay, I mean, best of one, so... Mangiavo lucertole aperte da ragazzino. What should I? Mercante. El mercante. What should I? If I open a pack with Novo Guard cards. You see my drafts later. I just take them. There's always some. Black is so good in this format. There's always Gold Guard cards. Giovanotti still singing, yeah, definitely, yeah. Giovanotti is still uh, very popular. Put a stop in upkeep. How's Baras Bar? Now you play land because if you scry three, three mana here, you might need two lands in a row. Favorite Fabri Fibra song? Oh, there's so many. There's so many. I mean, I think it's just almost all the songs are great. Really, I mean, some songs are. Some songs are like very many many swear words, and some so and just like like that. It's maybe not great, but I don't know. It's like watching a mango stream, basically. Most of the content is good. Sometimes it's just swear words, though. Yeah, there's a, there's way too many non-family friendly songs, but that's fine. Over overall, you get you get the most you you get the most family friendly songs. Our player's not giving up already. Look at them. Look at them. Still holding strong. Oh, no, one of the dead is so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm in a spot where usually when you're in top deck, you just drive or spell. When you're in top deck mode, you drive or spell. I'll force the trade with. I probably yeah with these two. Aspetta un attimo. I could also just not attack with these two. Just attack with a charger. No, no, no. Let's put them down to one. Then you have a 3 4 trample. And I have like a million cards in the graveyard, so this underworld charger can come back 70 times. They have two cards left. Threaten costs four in this format. 
All right, good game. Okay, so we finished this draft. It's 7-2. Seven two. No wait, your opponent didn't die. Oh come on, you didn't die. Que pale. All right, good game. And yeah, rank fourteen. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha